And in this example, ladies and gentlemen, we have y equals ln of ln of x. So again, just kind of using uh, the derivative here to find the first derivative. Basically, you guys can see that we're taking ln of u, where u is equal to ln of x. So du dx equals 1 over x. So to basically take the derivative ln of u in this case, y prime is going to be 1 over u du dx. So therefore, y prime is equal to 1 over ln of x times 1 over x, which is equal to 1 over x ln of x. So we have the natural logarithm of x times x. Now, they're asking us to find the second derivative. So you guys notice the second derivative. Um, we can use the quotient rule, or you could raise this up to a negative power. But then you're bringing up both of them. You have to bring the product rule. So I'm just going to use the quotient rule, because I also notice the quotient rule is not that bad. Because when I have a constant as part of my quotient, I know one of those is going to be 0, right? However, notice also in the denominator, I have a product in my denominator. So therefore, when I'm taking the derivative of my denominator, I'll have to use the product rule. But again, we used to have them up there so many times. We've been doing product rule and quotient rule so many times that we should uh, be familiar. So y double prime is basically going to be 0 times x, x times ln of x minus 1 times the product rule here which is um, 1 ln, 1 times ln of x plus x over 1 over x, all over x times ln of x squared. And now we can just simplify. This obviously is going to go to 0. Over here, I'm basically going to have um, this is going to divide to 1. So y double prime is equal to negative 1 minus ln of x over x times ln of x squared. Does anybody miss any portion of my math steps where I got to or missed or got? Okay, I have one last example we'll do. Actually, 